Hi, my name's Des, and I'm doing a short video just to show people how to bind a document, do the spine binding uh, using a ribbon. Now, more specifically, what we're binding today is the Petition of Right document. That's our Petition of Right. So that's it there. And you can see that I've got four holes down the spine of the document. And what I've used to do that is a four hole punch that I bought from Officeworks, it's just a standard punch. And we just centralize the page on the punch and um, punch the four holes. Now, what we can use is a, you've got choice of either a nine mil satin ribbon. Um, I'd prefer myself to use a six mil satin ribbon. I think the binding process turns out probably just that little bit, little bit better. But if you like the nine mil and the different colors, you can see the difference in the two colors. But we'll put that one aside and what we'll do is um, have a look at the things you're going to need. So we need ribbon for a start. We're going to need a pair of scissors. We're going to need a, a needle. I went to, you know, like Spotlight or something like that. Buy a needle with a little bit of a hook on the side of it there. It's got quite a big hole in the end of it so you can put a 6 mil ribbon through. It's either a sail or a carpet needle. That's right, yeah. yeah. That's correct, yeah. Sail or carpet needle. Um, you're going to need a glue gun and you can either use uh, red wax and you can get that online. Some people want to use a purple wax, so I've got purple wax as well. Can you, um, can you hold the glue gun up further into the line? Yeah, yep. yeah, that's, so it. yeah. that's our glue gun. Mine's a little bit messy because it gets a bit of use. But, uh, and the glue gun, and that's all we need. So what we're going to do now, we'll go down to the, to the, um, to the ribbon and uh, we'll show you what we do there. So once we've got our document sorted, um, we need to basically do three times the length of the document. So just unroll it off your roll, three times the length, and maybe about two or three inches. That's it, so we get our scissors. I'm gonna cut that off. I just cut off on a slight angle so that we can thread it through our needle. through there just give it a little bit of a tail like that once you've got the tail what I do is I sit back excuse the noise I sit back from the table a little and get the document and I put it on the edge so that I've got the holes of the document on the edge of the table I take my ribbon and I start from the top and you start from the top on the third hole so if you just have a look here you've got the third hole you pull all the ribbon through and leave yourself enough of a tail so as to leave about maybe three inches below the bottom of the document like that that's all you need to do so a little bit of sticky stuff from the tape on there so once you've pulled it through if you want to keep your ribbon nice and flat and you're going to bind the spine first on this one so you're going to go back through the hole and when you pull the ribbon through just make sure that that, that tail there you can pull a bit more through actually probably around about around about there that should be that should be plenty so I've got a little bit of sticky stuff on it so what we do is once we've done that we pull this ribbon through and try and keep your ribbon so that it sits nice and flat when it comes back through show, the hole show us show us a little bit more into the camera yep yeah, maybe so that's what we do. I'll do it on the edge like this for you so that you pull it so that it's nice and flat once you've actually done that what you're going to do now is you've got that your tail that's going to end up down here that's going to be the decorative tail with the wax that goes on here so what you do then is you turn the document over and what we want to do then is try and keep the ribbon nice and flat and we're going to go up to the next hole on the back of the document and again just make sure that when it goes through the hole you keep the ribbon flat we'll turn it back over when it comes through that hole you notice that we've got this one nice and flat you want to make sure that your ribbon sits flat again. Make sure your ribbon sits flat. And I put my finger on it. I pull the needle back through the spine. So what we're doing, we're stitching the spine of the document as we go. So I untangle the ribbon. Sometimes you've got to untwist it because it doesn't always turn out flat for you. So you just got to turn the, turn the ribbon around and then it'll thread through the hole flat for you, just like that. Again, turn the ribbon make sure that it sits flat when it comes out of the hole and then what we do we just go straight back through here 
So see how the ribbon's trying to go into a bit of a pigtail there? So that's okay. Just undo it like that. Pull it. Make sure that your ribbon's sitting reasonably flat. And then turn it. I actually put some holes in, there, in these other documents in the back earlier on. So anyway, we put, we again we bind the spine. So and then what we're going to do? We're going to go back down the document. So once we've got this last hole done at the top of the page, what we do is we will be returning down the full length but behind the document. So once you've done that, just go down the length, you come back through this hole here, so that means that the front of the document will be bound and also, I'll show you in a moment, I'll show that the back of the document will be bound also. It's a bit of a tedious process but Make sure your ribbon um, stays relatively flat. It just makes for a better, a better looking document once you've finished. So you'll see that we've gone from here. We've bound the spine. We've gone underneath. We've come back up through the hole, bound the spine again. Come along here, bound the spine. And now we've gone along the back of the document. So it looks exactly the same. Once we've done that, this is where we come up over the top, this one here, pull that through, we'll take our twists out, make sure it sits reasonably flat. Now I'm just, you know, I'd, I'd normally take a lot of time to do this so that the document looks nice, but you just want to try and make the ribbon so that it looks nice and flat. Now you'll notice that I'm on the back of the document again, the, the, this, this little tail sticks to the front, so I'm on the back of the document, I'm binding the back, back, of, the, back of the petition, I pull this one through, and then what we do here is we go, we bind the spine again, like we did with the others. Now this is the only part that's, you know, maybe a little bit tricky. So what you do here, make sure that ribbon's sitting reasonably flat. So you've got your tail here, we want that out of our way. Now, once you've got to this point here, you've got to bind that last section. So when you do that, the reason why you use a, a needle with a, a bit of a hook on it, is so that the when you push this through the back of here you're going to catch the other ribbon but if you're very careful and go in on an angle you'll find that this ribbon will and pull that tail out of the way there we don't want that getting caught up you pull your needle through okay this is the last part of it you pull your needle through and that last bit of ribbon will sit nice and flat so once you've done that You've got your original tail. Now we've got the excess here. Sometimes it's a little bit too much, but you can judge it for yourself after you do a couple of documents. So what you do with these two, we just do the old granny knot. So, but again, make sure when you do it that your ribbon sits reasonably flat. If the ribbon sits reasonably flat, the knot won't sit high and proud off the page. So once you do that, just put a little bit of pressure on it that you don't have to strangle it. You've got a nicely bound document, your spines are bound. And then that's half of your granny knot. We're just going to finish it off with one more. So just try and keep your ribbon as best you can, keep the ribbon flat. Okay. So once we've bound the document, you just put a bit of pressure on that now because you're not going to tear the paper because your first knot's already been done, half a granny knot. So what we've got here now is we've got a fairly long tail. Pull that up over there. You just you can dress it. So dress it just to see where it's going to sit flat. And then when you pull this one here down the page, see where it's going to sit best. You just turn it over until you get both of them sitting flat. So that to me that's good. that's quite good. That's sort of acceptable, you know. So what I do then is I have a look at both tails. This one here's got a bit of sticky stuff from when it was on the roll, new off the roll. So what I do is I actually get the get it and cut it on an angle so that you've got a point. So your ribbons to a point. Just hold like that. Yeah. Yep. No, ribbon. hold it down. Yep, yep, ribbons to a point. So once you've got that, you know that that's your inside one where you've got this one here sitting, we're going to cut it in the opposite direction. So we just do around about approximately the same sort of length. And what we do, we get our scissors and 
just hold it, it's a little bit awkward sometimes. Probably one of the sharper set of scissors that I've got. But essentially that's what we're doing there. We're just trying to make the ribbons sit down the page um, as best they can so that the um, so that the tails sort of face in. We can do a bit better job of that one, but anyway. So that's what I do there. Once you've done that, the document's ready to be sealed. So this is where our, just even up those pages, um, this is where our glue gun comes in. And I'll just bring the glue gun over. And what we do here is just use the glue gun nice and hot. You just run around in like an oval shape across the document. And just use the tip of the glue gun just to massage that wax in because it gets really hot. This is proper binding wax or seal wax actually. So that's all you need to do. It's a nice little blob there and it's up to you. Um, just hold it for approximately, um, approximately sort of maybe 30 seconds I suppose, 30 or 40 seconds. And what'll happen, that, that wax will, um, will be nice and hard but uh, try not to let it go because what'll happen is it'll pull the ribbon might pull through the wax a little and distort it but it looks nice like that you can put your thumbprint in it if you want to um, I've got my own seal so I put I, any documents that I do I, I put my seal on there but that essentially um, that's the finished product that's how you bind a document and I'll just hold that up and I'll show you that's what it looks like that's it there okay and we turn it around and we see it's exactly the same duplicated on the back. Alright, that's it. Hold that's it there, hold it there. Yeah. I can zoom in on it. I'll leave it. Yep, then back down again. Yeah, that's it. That's the document there. Got your wax seal on there, won't come off. They want to read the document they can pull it to the side but that's how you bind a document that's it that's how it should be sent all right thanks for watching